Welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for um, the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the second week of July, and we're going to see what is happening. It is a week of water. Um, the zodiac energy is water. It's in um, looking at yourself, trying to find yourself, emotional uh, situations, and the zodiac energy is also water. So let's see what is happening for the. Um, for the um, Capricorns on Monday you have the King of Swords okay whether this King of Swords is um, you'll be dealing with this Aquarian um, in this week so it's someone over the age of 40 and is um, an Aquarian a Gemini or a Libra let's see what's coming out then we have the Queen of Cups um, so it could be your parents um, it could be a situation where your parents or um, one is a, well, um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra and um, your mom could be um, hey um, Pisces cancer or scorpion then you have the nine of wands and what this is what this is saying basically um, if it's a situation that has nothing to do with your parents, it's basically that you have to deal with these people, but you're being protected. Whoever they are, you're being protected from them. Then you have the King of Cups. Some of you could be protected from the Queen of Cups, and then you have the King of Cups. So obviously, a lot of you are going to be having a situation with your parents or um, someone who is basically older than you are over the age of 40 whatever is happening um, the situation that is happening you're going to be being protected and ready for anything that is coming up for you the energy of the eye princess comes up so listen to your intuition so if it's a situation with your father who is an uh, Aquarius Gemini or Libra listen to your own intuition if you have to deal with a woman that is over the age of 40 that is um, an Pisces cancer or a scorpion listen to your intuition about the situation the energy of the world is here and this is positive so um, on um, Saturday you are going to be aligned with yourself whatever is happening on Saturday you're going to be very very much aligned with yourself because this is the energy of the Capricorn and let's see what is coming up for you victory and success okay I am basically loving this week your outcomes for this week is the energy of the wheel of fortune this is wonderful so some of you Capricorns you can um, align yourself with the energy of you coming out on top with a situation whatever is happening it is a karmic karmatic situation that you're dealing with the Queen of Cups is a very very much karmatic situation um, because you are here and aligned with the wheel of fortune so it's as if all of these people that you're dealing with in this week has to do with a karmatic situation I'm sorry I just need to um, balance out these cards so obviously um, the energy with the Queen of Cups is a karmatic situation um, if your parents has passed away and your mom was um, uh, Pisces cancer or a scorpion obviously um, there are um, um, there's a message that is coming through spiritually there is a message that is coming through spiritually so um, be aligned with yourself with this message um, a lot of you are going to have some success we have um, the energy of promotions success you could have a huge success if you are in conflicts with your um, work people from your work or <clears throat> a situation that was injustice against you at work um, you are going to be um, coming out on top because the situation is going to come to an end and a new start and a new beginning because we have the energy of the sword energy coming in 
Um, this is um, a positive because whatever is happening, some of you have to deal with this, 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 um, this man. This man is um, over the age of 40. That is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And a lady that is over the age of 40. It could be your parents for some of you. It could be your brother or your sister. Whatever the situation is, is that you are going to be coming out on top. You're going to be overcoming this situation. It is a karmatic situation that has been transpiring in your life, okay? Um, the energy of the world brings out an ending to a situation. The element of the cosmic. You're doing the cosmic dance, which is saying, I am releasing myself from a situation that no longer serves me. The unity of success, understanding, perfection, and you're bringing balance to certain situation, forgetting the center, the fear and the devotion, radical views, and you're moving away from that. And that is in the center of your week, which is very, very wonderful because with the world and the energy of um, the king, the, the, the energy of the sword, what that is saying is that you have brought a situation to the end and you are standing firm and standing and, and, and accepting that um, this situation needs um, to be ended, okay? And um, you come out with power, triumph. You're conquesting a situation that has been um, transpiring in your life and you bring a situation to an end. And there is a new beginning because whatever that was playing, whatever that was affecting your life in whatever way, um, you are seeing that you have bring it to an end. It's it's a week of a karmatic situation. Wheel of Fortune is bringing a lot of success, especially in work for a lot of you, okay? So, the energy of uh, the King of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a situation and um, you are um, protected and you're ready for anything that this King of Cups has to bring your way and you're going to be triumphant and successful. Listen to your intuition because um, the Eye Princess is your spirit guides and angels that is um, <clears throat> connecting with you. Okay, let's see what is the situation with the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. The King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. They, uh, this King of Swords and the Queen of Cups is going to bring help. Um, they're going to be um, trying to help you out, okay? Because um, it's a situation of uh, help coming in. Um, they're going to be trying to help you out. Whatever the situation is, they're really, really trying to help you out. Um, it could be in work situation. They're going to be trying to help you out. This could be a situation where your parents, if you're um, one of your parents is an Aquarius, Gemini or Cancer or um, one of, um, you know, whoever they are, they're going to be trying to help you out in a very positive way. OK, let's see what the nine of wands and the king of cups the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups is going to bring a lot of positive energies in your life because what we're having here is the energy of salvation. And what is transpiring is that this Nine of Wands is protecting you from this King of Cups, but it's actually bringing both of you together to do something that is positive because the energy of the Ten of Cups is here. So you're receiving help in this week. Um, it's as if the Wheel of Fortune is bringing um, positive situations in your life. And this is wonderful because um, um, they're bringing in help and this help is going to bring happiness and balance to your life in a very, very wonderful way, okay? All right, let's see the I Princess. So what are you bringing to an end? What is it that is coming up for the I Princess? Let's see the energy of the I Princess and the world. Um, the I Princess is letting you know that it's a, it is a learning. Um, you have gone through a lesson. This, this lesson is um, has come to an end. This lesson has come to an end because 
um, whatever the situation was with um, this um, king of swords whoever this king of swords and this queen of cups is whatever the situation was it was a karmatic situation and it was a lesson that you had to learn okay it's as if this lesson had to do with something with work situation i'm seeing a lesson with work situation or it could be um a karmatic lesson because the wheel of fortune is above this queen of cups and um the king of swords so obviously it was a karmatic situation that needed um to be dealt with okay energy of the word a world and the ace of swords is let's see what is happening with the energy of the world and the queen of swords the energy of the world and the queen of swords um, we have the ace of cups so new love is coming in this is wonderful this is positive some of you are going to be um, meeting um, someone who is going to be aligning with you and you both are going to be making something happen and this man is someone over the age of 40 so a um, new love is coming in there is a new start that is going to be coming in because I'm seeing help coming in from someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and um, the help that is coming in is going to bring an end to a situation and this is going to be a positive situation because um, after the end of that situation uh, coming in a new love is going to be coming out you're going to be victorious over the situation and new love is going to be coming out um, some of you could be meeting someone over the age of 40 that is an um, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and this is going to be a positive connection it's as if it's going to be positive in work, positive in relationship, positive in friendship. So you could be meeting this person and this person is going to bring positive energy into your life, but also love. Um, and it, it could be a new love that is about to form because um, whatever that was going on is as if people... Um, it's as if there's a shift of energy with people around you and they're going to be wanting to help you um you know if you were um, receiving enduring um people are going to be coming up now and they're going to be wanting to help you because they're going to be seeing um and feeling the energy as if oh my gosh um wow you know this person um is real as, as someone who is real this person um, really um, wants to do something for humanity and that sort of a thing or um, this person um, you know needs a little help and a little push and this is going to be good so um, it is wonderful and it is positive okay so I'm loving your reading and as I've always said love is going to be coming in for you Capricorns in this month of July and you're seeing this happening so thanks um, to you Capricorns thank you so much for your wonderful support um, I'm seeing a lot of victorious um, at work um, if some of you are um, having a situation where new love is going to be coming in as um, and the, the wheel of fortune with the world whatever you plan to do in this week go ahead and do it okay it's a yes it's a week of yes for you guys um, yes 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 new love is coming in as, as if some of you um, ended a situation with someone who was an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra whoever that person is if some of you were um, in a relationship or was seeing someone who's an Aquarius Gemini or Libra they have connected with someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay and this person was basically looking for help and now um, they have moved on and is connected to someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion because obviously that person is looking for help listen to your intuition if you have ended this relationship <clears throat> it was a good idea to end that relationship because that person was not in the relationship for love or for something positive they were looking for help and obviously um, you 
felt as if this person wasn't right for you and now this person has moved on to someone else so there he is beside the energy of the the queen of um cups who is a pisces cancer or a scorpion um it's just someone who is um this person is <laughs> you know he is someone who is uh, um very much on balance he's he, he he's looking for help and it's as if some of you realized um, what was going on because you know maybe he had just sprung back in your life and uh, um, you know you realize that something is off yes yes he, he there is someone else so and that is a karmatic situation so let him be listen to your intuition it's a good thing you listen to your intuition about this man because there he is he's he has moved on with someone else he's looking for help so it's not a matter of love now some of you are going to be meeting um, a man this is a responsible man this man um, he could be a cancer um, but he could be Pisces or a scorpion for some of you it's going to be a cancer majority of you you're going to meet a man that is a cancer and you're going to be really feeling connected with this person and this person is someone that you can move forward in in relationship this is going to be new love coming in for some of you um, it could be happening um, you know at the end of the week you decide to go out with this person you maybe you've met this person and you decide to go out with this person and you feel a strong connection and a strong pull to this person he is a, um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion I'm receiving the energy of the cancer because the crab is on um, uh, but but it doesn't really matter it's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man you're gonna feel a, a strong pull to this person this is going to be a new love so in the situation the feelings that you have for the Aquarians Gemini or Libra and move on with this person because it's going to be a positive relationship okay Let's see what the Angel of Abundance have for the Capricorn in the second week of July. Deserveness. Okay. Deserveness. So what this is saying is that you are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet re recognize your lovable qualities trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are and this is what I'm trying to um, explain to a lot of people sometimes you are not seeing the beauty that is happening Some of you cannot see the beauty that is happening and the, how beautiful you are from a soul aspect. And in this week, what the angels of abundance are saying, you're a beloved child of the creator or of God. Like everyone else, you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. It doesn't have to be your divine life purpose, but it, it has to be uh, to focus up on the purpose that you you know should align yourself with okay please remember to thumbs up leave a message listen to your sun moon and rising sign i want to say namaste until next time